Hi, welcome back to ESSA in Plain Midwestern English from the District 205 show. Today we'll be learning about the ESSA Quality Framework. There are 26 elements that make up the ESSA Quality Framework. These elements can be grouped into the seven standards shown here. The standards in the black segments make achieving our overall goals of continuous improvement and student and learning development, the gold and silver banners, possible. So, what do each of these seven standards actually mean for our students and our schools? Continuous improvement means that we are constantly reviewing the work that we do every day to help make sure our students are successful. To address the culture and climate standard, schools look at how they are pursuing two important questions. Are our schools safe and friendly places? And do we have high expectations for everyone in our schools? For the shared leadership standard, school leaders look at how they ensure that students, teachers, our school buildings, and our entire district are all moving in the same direction to achieve similar goals for student success. In the governance standard, schools ask themselves how they are including all students equitably in the education process. How do schools strive to find qualified educators who mirror their student population? Schools also examine how they supply resources to the schools with the greatest needs. The Education and Employee Quality Standard asks schools to examine how they provide feedback and professional development opportunities to support the growth of all staff. It also asks how often educators meet to review data. Family and Community Connections is a standard that all schools must examine as well. Do we have adequate home to school communication? And are the school buildings and the district creating a coordinated system of support for the development of the whole child? The Student Learning and Development Standard is, of course, at the heart of what schools do every day. This standard asks if schools have aligned all classes with the district's curriculum and with established learning standards. Further, it asks schools to examine if all educators are using high-yield strategies to instruct students and use feedback to ensure that they are meeting the needs of the whole child. This has been ESSA in Plain Midwestern English from the District 205 Show.